Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Pulsar Lost Colony. So this is a Star Trek type game that uh, for some time I've been wanting to show you. And uh, the idea is that you will uh, crew a ship with um, your friends. It's meant for multiplayer, although I uh, mostly play it uh, single player. So let's... Um, Let's, uh, well, I think this is not necessary. Let's engage. So this uh, game is evidently inspired by Star Trek, although the um, it's not like a, 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 an official Star Trek <laughs> or um, product or anything. But it, it's clearly inspired um, by Star Trek. And here we start, like, you, you can select different... Um, uh, different careers or factions there are different factions in the in uh, there, there is this galaxy here that is um, uh, populated and uh, it's um, there's different corporations and factions that uh, that are um, like doing different things like some some of them are um, doing business uh, exploiting resources others are like uh, making research and yeah you are um, exploring this galaxy and uh, you can perform missions and uh, discover things so the different roles here we 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 have the different roles uh, we have engineering, so I will add uh, these uh, r different roles uh, from um, an AI entity. So we have the engineer, the weapon specialist, the scien the scientist, and the pilot. So now here you see that um, we have a pilot. Here is the engineer and the scientist. Okay, so in this game, well, instead of the Federation, we have this colonial union. And uh, the colonial union is, um, it has some um, oversight of what's going on in the, in the, the galaxy so it has different stations and the idea now is that we teleport to the to the to the station and here you will see that you can interact with with um, other uh, NPCs so welcome to Colonial Union Outpost 448. If you have any question, I will be happy to answer them. Okay, please enjoy your visit. Okay, so um, this game is uh, is basically a, an adventure game. So there's this um, story going. Ah, this is the. I think this is um, a crewmate. Ah. Everybody's with me, okay. <laughs> I think, well, not everybody, just the scientist. And this is because I, um, I program them. Uh, you can program your your AI like to follow you. So you have this crew AI, and here you can see, for example, for the the surgeon is like my um, weapon specialist. And here you can see that uh, his priority is to be close to the captain. So when this, uh, I usually take the, the the weapon specialist and the scientist with me. So they give me some uh, support in what I'm doing. And yeah, this is um, the you can you can have different um, priorities for them. Um, it's um, it's relatively a, a complex thing like to get to know what what you can do um, with each uh, crew 
Okay, and here we have... We can interact with this... Um, with this character to... To, to take um, lessons, uh, sorry, to take missions, I mean, to take missions. Uh, so this is this desk is for Colonial Union Officer assignment. Due to recent crisis, we've opened jobs to any officer and experienced Colonial Union civilians who are willing to lend their assistance. Completion of this request will be compensated. So are you looking for work? Yes. And then um, comes like a, a mission, right? Since this will be your first assignment under my directions, I have a low risk mission prepared for you. One of our cargo transports en route to sector zero was overwhelmed by outlaws. From what we've been able to discern, they were targeting the ship cargo, especially medical supplies. Report indicate the outlaw ship was heading towards a planet called Mova 7. Okay, there's a good chance of medical supplies are being stored in all terraforming station at the location. We need you and your crew to travel to Mova 7, investigate what you can and bring back those supplies. Okay, let's ac accept this mission. So I don't want to, because this is, uh, there's a, a whole um, story um, in this game so I don't want to spoil it for you I just want to show you um, so uh, a simple ga gameplay um, but the idea is that you um, you have like this they will assign you missions they are random missions but there are other missions that are part like a, a story an ongoing story and um, So it's, uh, we would say that this game is uh, story rich, right? So it's not like um, simple procedural or it's not a sandbox game or a no. So let's, let's teleport back. And let's uh, make some mission. So you get the idea of how this, so the ship has the let me show you now the ship um the, the ship has several stations this is the science station and in um, this station you can like analyze what um, your surroundings the environment so it the sensors will pick up what what uh, is around you like other ships or planets also there's um, a scan you can scan things and also you have a computer <coughs> that will with this computer you can um, activate programs uh, make searches of the different places of the galaxy to get more information about them and it will let you also tweak like the defenses of the of the ship also there's like this uh, 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 this is regarding the programs one thing about the programs is that your your ship can be um, can ha can re receive cyber attacks and then you and you can also um, deliver cyber attacks to other ships also you have boarding in the game so enemies could board your ship and you have to fight it fight them uh, inside the ship um, and this is the, the engineering station here you control like the the warp uh, the warping of the of the ship and uh, all these um, fuel consumptions and um, yeah and, and the power right like you can divert power to different um, systems here uh, here you can teleport to other stations or to the uh, planet surface and these paths that you see here are for cargo so one thing you can do with the ship is to to salvage for example things that are in space they will appear th there okay i don't know why is it 
I don't think we're under attack. I don't know what are they doing. So this is um, this is the the weapons uh, station. So here you can control like um, weapons. So for example, you can go here into the into the plasma turret, and then you get this view um, where you can shoot enemies. this is a laser turret and so on and he's on the main turret um also you have ammunition here that you can take with you and here you can uh process uh, yeah this is the to load the nuclear you have nukes so you can use that weapon in case of uh, that you are really overwhelmed in case of um, uh, emergency and then you have the crew quarters you have the life support in life support you have the exosuits you need them to, uh, to descend to certain planets that has hostile environments this is uh, the launch this where you have like the crew quarters uh, the only thing here of um, importance is that you can access the logs this is the only thing and then you have um, engineering in engineering you can do a couple of things one thing is that you can like um, you can see uh, what what is um, the consumption the power consumption of of the systems and you can tweak them it's basically like the engineering station but um, let's say with other options as well you can um, yeah you can turn off the, the power of different systems here and also you have this um, system of upgrading uh, ship parts right and 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 weapons so that's done when you collect uh, scrap uh, you collect scrap and then you can invest that uh, scrap in upgrading your ship this is um, your um, lockers so in the captain lo locker um we have like we can we can store them uh, there are different things here we just have like rations okay but then let's go to our mission uh, objective if you're the captain then you would sit here Let's see, where is the mission assignment? Ah, there. So we have to go there. Ah, but by the way, I, I think I need to... I think I need to buy some fuel, right? So you can buy things from the automated tr trade trading uh, post and... Um, you will do that uh, in this um, interface here so let's browse the goods and looks for um, some few these are all the things that you can buy from them so here currently we have 20 um, fuel capsules and we can hold uh, 200 so I like to buy some oh what they just had one, okay. Oh, that's curious. They don't have any more. <laughs> that's strange. Okay, and... Yeah, and, and you can also buy, like, um, improved... Um, improved um, equipment from them. Okay, so... I think we can go now because they don't have fuel anyway 
So probably we would need to refuel in the in our um, trip to the mission. So there are uh, like this this um, these places here are um, they offer like services. These uh, places here with a wrench and the hammer. Okay, and this uh, blue bubble here is uh, orange. Currently we have a um, small range. So there, I, I set the, the, the destination of the trip. And the crew automatically um, does this, right? See you, command is looking for a crew en route to outpost 448 to accept a voluntary delivery assignment. Okay, let's accept this. Transport final warp coil shipment from Barwick Warp Coil Company to outpost 448. Okay. Brief. Five Union standard dates ago, a, a missile from an unidentified craft was launched at the Barwi Warp Coil Company. An investigation into the attack is underway, but further warp coil manufacture has been deemed impossible to due to the extensive damages to the facilities. Barwick has no other resources to spare and requests a reliable Colonial Union crew to transport the last shipment of warp coils to outputs 448. Okay, <clears throat> so we have a new mission. Um, let's see, here are the missions. So one is this um, installing medical supplies. We have to retrieve a uh, four stolen medical supplies and investigate out the outlaw operation. Mm, and we have the other mission to transport these coils. And this is the, the, the location of the mission. So where is this? Oh, it's... Okay. So this is somehow closer to our destination than... Yeah, but this mission is to transport the coils from this point to the outpost 448. Okay. Um... Okay, with F8 you can skip warp. I usually like to not skip it, so it gives a sense of the of the um, of the universe of the the size of it. Oh, well, I didn't. Ah, now we are under attack. So usually, what w I do is that I will take the laser, the laser turret. has the it what it does it, it's good for to bring down the the shields of the enemy but as you can see it will heat up you can zoom the turret as well so this is one thing I like of the game, like um, the combat, because I think they did um, a good job with uh, with the combat. It's it's like the the combat experience. I mean, it's um, it's a uh, smooth. It, it runs well at least in, in my equipment or without this multiplayer thing it, it runs smoothly 
So the pilot will, you see that when we destroy ships, they leave behind like these glowing um, crates here. And this is salvage. And the pilot will automatically fly to it and pick them up. But you need a, a salvage equipment for that. Because they're not, not, not all the ships are equipped with... Um, with a salvage unit and here you can see that we um, got some equipment and scrap uh, to be able to reclaim this uh, scrap you have to hold the R button there you have to let it go um, the, the, the you have to let go the key just at the right spot so it, this is like a little mini um, puzzle there a plasma turret okay I think we will just sell that one okay I think that's it well maybe there's another let's see if there's ah there's more here so that was a good there and now if we go to the engineering you will see that we have now um, five five points to spend on 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 improvements on upgrades but the uh, upgrades can only be done in a station we cannot do it like um, in the middle of the, of the of the trip also to install things if you want to take a look outside you can always operate the sensor dish and this is the way you can take um, a look around also you can pilot the ship yourself and you can um, you can fly the ship to whatever you want okay so but we got rid of the enemies um let's see what's the status well our shields are holding or um hull is holding as well so no problem in that case um okay so let's continue our trip So we will be okay. So some mission has this bonus to complete con to complete the mission within certain uh, amount of jumps. So uh okay we are being invited to the high rollers casinos okay i have never been to the casino to be honest okay so yeah in in in, in with this uh barwick shipment uh mission there's a limit of 10 jumps so we have to uh, fulfill this uh, mission in 10 jumps ah this is the high rollers casino okay okay so let, let's skip the, the warp ah more enemies Ah, also the 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 one one thing of the laser is that it's um, able to like overload their systems or take out certain systems. You see, 
there is this uh, engineering um, icon that is shown you see that somehow the laser is um, overloading that system in for, uh, in the enemy ship you sh you have also to uh, keep an eye on the overheating of the weapon because when it overheats then you cannot fire so there are a bunch of um, effects uh, your weapon does to the enemy and, and they are shown there So now you see all this. Um, we had all, we damage all um, other um, systems of the ship now. Like this nuclear, I don't know. This is, I think this is the core. Okay, it's almost destroyed. Okay, when we had a, a level up, and it, you can also spend uh, points in your crew and in your own character. So in that sense, it's an RPG, right? Um, because the the characters have uh, abilities that you can upgrade as you level up. You can also, if he's using like the plasma, he's switching between the plasma and the main turret. I can show you the main turret. This, this is the most powerful weapon. Yes, this this weapon has. Uh, now that I remember, uh, you have to, like to. There, you have like to p uh, press the the the, the 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 mouse button and let let it go when um, when you have this like this uh, concentric uh, circles. Um, meeting at some point to create like the most damage oh there's another one wow so many enemies so if you are playing multiplayer this um, this can be a lot of fun, right? Because um, your friends could be um, one could be um, controlling another weapon, and another could be um, piloting the ship. It can be a lot of fun. Okay, so now he's. Um, collecting things I think we don't have any more ah we are the under the effects of a virus a backdoor disable firewalls um, I think I don't have any uh, instant antivirus. Ah, there. Instantly remove all hostile hostile viruses from the ship. Okay, but at the end, the the the, the virus is gone. You you saw that like the this the screen was um, blinking. It was glitching out. So this is the 
we we were the target of a cyber attack a virus that was messing up the um, or systems or you know um, I don't know exactly what uh, all the effects that uh, we were suffering and here you can see the coolant reserves the coolants are um, used to cool down the this antimatter core that we have in the ship so you have to keep an eye on that because if this over overheats you have to expel the core like you have this lever here to eject the core if you cannot handle it um, and here's the stability right yeah we have a fusion reactor on this thing so now we have more things plasma turret those are like programs these are RxJP Okay, but I think that's it. We don't have more enemies around. How are our shields? Well, our shields are good. On our hall, so let's see. I think we're going to go there. Okay, here in the ship. This is what we have currently on, on our cargo, right? We have a plasma turret. This um, RxJP is a jump computer that improves jump uh, computation speeds. Um, we have a maneuvering thruster level 1. Plasma turret level 1. I think all these plasma turrets are... We, we are going to just sell them. Standard jump module, we have that probably, and this is what is this QDI fix engineering processor that slightly repairs engineering system whenever a program is run. Okay, that we could install that one. Okay, but if you want, like, you can compare um, what you have installed in the ship. So here you have a shield generator, the reactor, the an O2 generator, capstan chair, the warp drive, standard jump module we have now. So we don't we don't need that standard jump module. It doesn't bring any improvement. We have the hull and the hull plating, and we have an a uh, structure. Okay, so that's it. Let's press F8 to skip it. Okay, what is this? Negotiate. Okay, they are attacking us, I think. You can negotiate, as you saw, this uh, didn't work out. So they will attack us. Let's see if we... If we cannot make it, then we have to jump. Emergency jump. Ah, there. We just, I think, we jumped because uh, I gave the order to jump, to 
we had like these two steps um, Oh, that was good. So we were, we already had a, a scheduled jump, so they couldn't attack us. Okay, probably there's something here. No. Oh, and we already had a steal credits. Ah, okay, yes. They were stealing our credits. Wow. Ah, we are in the middle of a mining, uh, uh, a minefield, it seems. Oh, that's not good. So all these are mines. We are in the middle of a minefield now. I don't know what the pilot is doing. I hope he's not just driving the ship through the minefield. Sometimes this AI can be really stupid. So the best is when you can play with your friends. Because, um, yeah. Because they are more, probably they will be more um, efficient than this AI. So, and sometimes um, you will find things you can um, salvage, that you will find a ship wreckage that you can salvage. And of course, um, yeah, you. I, this is an adventure game, an exploration game, so you can find quite a, a few things that catch your interest, that can lead to a story, uh, and the stories are very much like in the spirit of Star Trek. <laughs> If you if you know Star Trek and you play the game you you will know what I'm I mean by that okay so what are we doing here nothing right we should um, jump again ah we are okay so we can jump to our mission destination Okay, one thing that, um, yeah, you, you, one thing is that, uh, uh, regarding the ship is that you can, um, upgrade it, but unfortunately I think there are few ship types, well, they, I see that they have been adding more ship, ship types since the game was, of course, first, um, released into uh, early access, I think it's still in early access. Um, but let's, uh, well, uh, my impression is that there, there's no much variety. Um, one thing is that these uh, ship types are like bounded to some faction as well. If you select a ship, then you will be bounded to a certain faction, or at least this is what I, what I, um, my impression of uh, the time I selected another another ship type. This game is also VR, so you can play it um, in VR mode. 
So I think the the, the graphics are are decent. I like the how the crew like the characters how the the crew looks like. I I mean it's not like a hyper realistic but it's uh but I like it. I like this this uh, the art they did with the, with the characters. So now um we can teleport. Yeah, here we are. This is the, the station. So it's good to see colonial union officers here. We are all a bit shaky after the earlier attack. Welcome to the Barwick Warp Coil Company. You must be here for the delivery, correct? Thank you for your help. We need to get the last shipment of warp coils to Outpost 448. Speak with Jana George on the upper level of this room. She's in charge of distribution. She'll load the shipment onto your vessel. If there's anything else you need, I'm here to assist. Okay, so we have to talk to Jana George. You can ask more questions and you will get into the story. So I won't like um, do much of that because I don't want like to spoil things but um, yeah here he, I guess this is Jana George so she has like this question mark on top of her too so you're here for the warp calls I assume yes good I have them send up your ship these warp calls are Barwis last shipment so take care of them don't let them get damaged and see that they go they get to output 448 without a hitch there's an administrator at the center of the hub named Eldon Jetra tell him Barrow will send you and he'll handle the cargo from there okay Eldon Jetra Okay, so in the missions, we have already the warp coils. Now we, we need go to go to Outpost 448 and then deliver it to Eldon Gatra, and that's it. So let's go. Oh, okay. To the bridge, to the bridge. Okay, it's unfortunate that the that the ship doesn't have um, more range. You see that we are slightly short of uh, reaching the our destination. Um, like the the range doesn't let us um, go directly. Um, one thing is that you will see this, uh, if, like uh, some sort of events popping up in the in your in your in the galaxy map, and you can go investigate these things, and they could be like some sort of boss battle or something. Um, you can also uh, use like these um, warp gates, right? Um, how are they called here? Uh, warp station. These are warp stations, and they uh, they can with with them you can teleport to really far away um, places in the galaxy. So in fact, probably it made more sense for us to warp um, to this station right here. I think we can do that from Outpost Forty Eight. And the 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 places that you see the uh, you have like this 
uh, small diamond shaped um, points and if they are filled it means that um, you already um, been there so what happens if I ah okay it selects the closest road okay so that's good let's go I wonder how much fuel 16 captures left okay so it's not that we are running out of fuel but Oh, okay. There's some someone that needs. Someone needs fuel. Someone ran ran out of fuel, and we need to provide them with fuel. So these are like random missions that uh, pop up, and. Yeah, you will get like um, contacted. Okay, I think there's nothing here. Okay, and and the encounter you saw there that like there were these pirates like trying to get uh, money from us. Um and I, I I was trying to negotiate well these these uh, things the outcome of these um, actions is determined by, by your um, your abilities your your talents so here for example I have uh, my captain and he's um, he has uh, diplomacy so the di diplomatic actions are five percent more likely to succeed so I can place um, points there. Intimidation, intimidation actions are five more likely to succeed. And so on. And you have like different... For each, for each class you have like different points that you can allocate. there so this is sign the scientist is bridge medic custom shield frequency okay advanced operator oh okay So we can stop the warp. Okay, so here it is. Colonel sent you, did they? Our superiors will be displeased when they discover we requested assistance from the Union, but it seems we have been left with no other choice. General distress signals are too risky these days. Go on then, let's get this over with quickly. Give fuel capsules. So there, we gave some fuel capsules. To the ship. And we can now go on to Outpost 448. Okay, clear out an infestation of creatures from an old colonial union way station. I usually accept all these things. Well, especially at the beginning. Oh, and there's a bounty hunter. Well, you can see there's a place where you can see... Um, 
Ah, here, the crew reputation. So, what is this WD? I don't remember. This is a corporation and we are like minus 14 with them. So, probably they sent already a, a bounty hunter that is after us. Okay, so we're back and the mission we have to look now for Eldron Gatra and this will conclude our mission. Who's Eldron Gatra? I think it's, it's one of these Is he Eldron Gatra? Yes. I have to talk to him. So Barwell shipment. You have the shipment for for from Barwick. We receive a transmission that you'd be on your way. Thank you for delivering the warp calls to us. Please take this payment for your work. Okay, so that's it. We completed the mission. So... I think we will leave it here. You, I think you have a good idea of um, what this game is about. Um, there are of course other missions where you go to you can go to the surface of planets um and you could be like making some um a little bit of exploration in that planet um yeah but but i think at this point you you have a good idea of the game so um, the, the the game has this sto backstory. Uh, you have to. There's this story about the lost colony. Um, I think they're still w the developers are still working on the on this uh, like the main um, story of the of the lost colony. So it's not um, ready yet. Um, so this game is early access still. Uh, and yeah, if you like what you see, then you can check it out. I hope um, you like the, the video as well. Please uh, leave a like if so, and hope to see you in the next one. So this is Cyber Settler signing off.